welcome home Superman. Just like The Rock said during the world premiere of Black Adam last night, live in Times Square, New York City. I was watching it live. I have recorded a short that I uploaded um, in case you missed it. It was just going over some of the hints and stuff that Dwayne Johnson, Danny Garcia, Noah Centineo, other cast members were hinting at this amazing return reveal. We all know what the big surprise is. I think the cat's out of the bag now. I don't think it's really a secret anymore. But if you're watching this, you've probably already seen a lot of leaks by now um, since the premiere was last night in New York. And there was quite, you know, a lot of people that were there that got to see it um, there in New York. So we know this is going to happen. We know that with these things, there's going to be people uploading stuff on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I mean, YouTube, especially you're going to just, even if you're not trying to see it or look for it, it's going to be hard to avoid it. Um, I was trying hard to avoid it. I had said before in other videos that don't worry, I'm not going to show it on my video. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it and who does not want to. Plus the movie hasn't come out yet. So I'm not going to, you know, post anything that is not publicly out there yet. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it is public by, you know, via leaks, but I'm not going to put it on my video. So no worries. But I had said before, I did not want to physic. I didn't want to actually see a picture or a recording of Superman in, you know, a credit scene or being in Black Adam until I see it in the theater. We know he's going to be in it. It's been basically confirmed these past, you know, weeks or couple weeks because Dwayne Johnson hasn't stopped talking about it. Every interview Superman comes up and you can tell he's just confirming without giving anything away. You know what I mean? Details. So we know he's going to be in it. I didn't actually want to see it till I saw it in theaters. I just wanted to know that he was going to be in the movie. But now that it's out there, I'm just, I have seen it myself. A lot of you probably have too, whether you wanted to or not. I am just so freaking excited. I'm so happy. I love Henry Cavill's Superman. I want him to come back. I wanted him to come back. Been wanting this for years. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just been so long. Just like Danny Garcia said during the premiere last night, she's been working on this for six years. They've been working prison like 15 years just to get the movie made, but past six or seven years fighting to get Henry Cavill back as Superman, which is ridiculous. Should have been the opposite. It should have been like the old regime was just never going to allow this to happen unless it was the kind of Justice League Superman, basically, that they wanted to push. And obviously Henry Cavill does has not and does not want to do that version of Superman. If he wanted to do that version of Superman, he could have done it and would have done it a long time ago. He has said for several years he wants to be Superman. So Danny Garcia, um, her brother that was also there at the premiere, that they worked together. Dwayne Johnson, all of them have just been really making this a priority and being passionate about it. I mean, Dwayne Johnson was talking recently about listening to the fans. I made a video about that as well. He said it again. Um, listening to the fans. That's what you need to do. Fans want Henry Cavill. We, I can, I just, I, it's so surreal. I got emotional watching the scene. I can't wait to see it in theaters. It did not take away from my excitement of seeing it in theaters. I kind of thought it would, but it didn't, <laughs> because I think I'm just so overwhelmingly happy to see him back, have him back in the DCEU. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, like I said, for people that haven't seen it or people that don't want to. Um, all I will say is that I'm very happy with what I saw. And I just can't wait to see it in theaters. I can't wait to see what comes next moving forward. Um, you know, Dwayne Johnson also talked about making, like, you know, having Superman in this universe moving forward with having Superman in this universe. Like, I'm very optimistic about the future with Superman being, and Ben, I mean, Ben is back as well. So I'm just super happy. I know there are things that... <sighs> fans have nitpicked about or kind of, I don't want to say complained, but would rather have seen such as the black suit or, you know, don't get me wrong. 
The black suit's amazing. But I think we all need to remember Zack was the only one who was ever probably going to use a black suit for Superman. Like, no other, no one else was ever going to do that. And like he said um, <clears throat> with Grace Randolph when he was talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League before it came out, um, it's kind of its own thing, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Like, yes, we all want it to be canon, and in a lot of ways it still is. Um, I have seen, you know, people that have been sharing their non-spoiler thoughts about the movie that Snyder fans will be happy. There are nods to him and references and some, a lot of the parts of the, like sections of the movie do are reminiscent of that tone. Um, but just the fact that Henry Cavill is back is absolutely amazing. We get to see him in this beautiful suit, the red and blue suit that they made for him in this universe has always been beautiful Said it. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The thing that ruined this suit was in 2017 Justice League was Joss Whedon's color grading, not the suit itself. So there's no reason to not appreciate that he's in this amazing suit now. Yes, every director that takes on him, that takes, I mean, that includes him now in their movies is, I mean, you know, it's going to have their own, they're obviously going to continue with this suit. But it might look different in some movies because of the, color grading and the tone that each direct, you know, whatever they decide to do with it. But this suit's always been beautiful. I'll always love this suit. Even if Zack's compromised version would have been released in 2017 in theaters without any of Joss Whedon's anything, we still would have seen a red and, the beautiful red and blue suit. We would not have seen the black suit. They were not going to let Zack do that. We only ever got to see the black suit because the Snyder Cut came out. And as Zack had explained, it was his idea to have, since Superman, it, it, it's very representative of a certain specific situation, the black suit. Superman came back to life after dying, and canonically, he uses the black suit to regenerate, right? It's a representative of resurrection, of Superman being resurrected. That's not going to continue out throughout the other movies, though. Zack said he would have gone back to the red and blue suit, just like we see him in the nightmare. Well, not the nightmare where Darkseid's putting his hand on his shoulder, but the other nightmare scene where he is, where he kills Batman and the world is destroyed and he's going after the other members of the league um, that are still alive. <laughs> um, he's in the red and blue suit again. So he does find his way back to the red and blue suit. I know that since this movie is the next movie that we have seen Superman in since Zack Snyder's Justice League, people want him to have the black suit. But it's like Zach said, that's kind of self-contained in its own thing. But I think the positive thing here is that there's so much positive to this. Henry's back, number one. Huge win. Huge win. And we know that it is obviously on under good terms. And because it's what they're finally probably like now allowing Henry to do what he wants with the character. Otherwise, he would not have come back. And that's, they're not going to fight for six or seven years to bring him back if it's not going to be what he wants for the character. So, number one, that's a huge win. And, like, this tells us that he's finally getting what he wants for the character. And it's obviously not Justice League Superman. So people need to stop freaking out that that is going to be the canon. You know, I don't think that the new regime is going to pick one or the other to be canon. I think they're just... They want to obviously use... Who has been established in these roles? Ben Affleck, they brought him back. Henry Cavill is back. Um, you know, we're still going to have Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, Jace Momoa's Aquaman. They want to use these characters to move forward in the DCEU. Like he said, like David Zasloff said, they want to tell compelling stories. They want to make good movies. He said that they saw these movies and can make them better. This is the first thing you do to make these movies better. <laughs> is bring Henry Cavill back as Superman. This is, yeah, the best thing that could have happened for sure after this merger. And it's what we all wanted after seeing that they moved the movies back. So now this is definitely makes me optimistic that he probably will be in the Flash movie to meet Sasha Kaya's Supergirl, even if he shows up in some kind of credit or epilogue scene in Shazam. Um, you know, because he's going to, I mean, Shazam's going to, that's, they're going to have to team up, you know, for Black Adam, defeat him in some way. So I'm just so happy he's back. It's amazing to, like, I know he's not on Twitter, but 
I hope he can, I hope he understands and knows that the love and appreciation and excitement for that fans have for him being back. Like it's surreal. It's amazing. I'm so happy for him that he finally gets to do this after all these years. Like it should have been the studio begging him, <laughs> please be our, you know what I mean? And instead it was like just hostile and I don't know, just hostile towards the fans, bitter towards the fans and him and Zack Snyder. Like it was just, they just were like, just so ego driven and it was never going to happen under the old regime. So I'm super thankful to everyone who allowed this to happen. It's awesome. It's super awesome. And you know, it's good to see there's pretty some uh, positive feedback um, regarding Black Adam. So if you're, you know, interested in any of those, you can find those on Twitter. Um, Dwayne Johnson did say that he's here to be an advisor for DC to help greatly, but that, you know, he's not going to be like, the film, you know, the in the role of being chief since they are still looking for someone to take on that position at DC. Um, but, you know, it's good to see positive feedback about Black Adam. And here is Danny Garcia's brother talking about that they're here for the long run. And they have they have a future in mind that they want to build out in the DCEU that includes Superman as well. He didn't say that, but that's what he meant. <laughs> he said they're here for the long run. Like Dwayne Johnson said in other uh, press interviews, he can see what the next three movies look like. They have this vision in mind. They know what they want to do. And hopefully now it can finally happen. So, yes. Welcome home, Superman. Can't wait to see it. For those of you that have seen it, please don't leave any spoiler comments in the, you know, you can share your thoughts, but don't spoil it for anybody else. Super, super, super excited. Henry Cavill is our Superman and he's back. And I'm loving it. I am so here for it. I can't wait. But thank you guys for watching. Check out the links in the description. Um, check out any videos you might have missed. And I'm just super happy to be talking about Superman. It's been so, so, so long. Way too long. And just, yes, he's here. He's back. <laughs>